A few months ago, I was on a stand-up tour, and there was a few other lads. Now, what you need to know is all the other lads on the stand-up tour, we were all some version of brown or black. And it was a tour around the UK, and after this one show, we were in our hotel in Sheffield. We were on the third floor, uh, and there's, there's about six of us in the room, and we were all having a really good um, chat. Um, and <laughs> you know those really good chats you have? You're like, oh, this is a good chat. <laughs> like, where did this chat come from? Amsterdam, like, this is a good chat. <laughs> Like, oh, man, it's like, you know, like a really good chat. Like someone had put a sock over the smoke alarm. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Probably to stop the Russians hearing our conversation, but it was a really good chat. I, mean, I think we didn't want anyone else to listen to it. Like, we cranked a, we cranked a window open to make sure there was air flowing to aid the chat. Like, it was a really, really good chat. It was, oh, it was strong. And, um... <laughs> and then about 45 minutes into the chat, uh, you know, just our minds were kind of in sync with each other, like we'd really, really be through the conversations. We heard a commotion from outside, and three of us popped our heads out the window. We're on the third floor. We looked at the bottom, just outside the hotel. What we saw was this big white guy with his body in a taxi, just pummeling the taxi driver. Now, my dad drove taxis. I have uncles who still drive taxis. Uh, and they've told me about some of the scary stories and some of the scrapes that they get into. And there I was, as an adult, I thought, not on my watch. I'm not going to let that happen. And because the conversation had been so strong, all of us in that room... <laughs> all of us in the room, our minds were synced, and we had the exact same thought. And I swear to God, I've never moved so fast in my life. Like, we raced out there, raced out the room, down the corridor, down the stairs, through the lobby, out of the door, and then we all hesitated. <laughs> The taxi driver's white. <laughs> like, I'm not pro-violence, but I don't want to really get involved in white-on-white -in -white crime. <laughs> like, I don't know how they do things in their culture, right? I don't want to... I don't want to project my cultural values on how they do things. I don't want to patronise them like that. Who's to say how we handle things is better than how their culture handles things? Should we get involved? Of course, we did cut it out, but I will say, I did let the guy get a couple more licks in. Because <laughs> that'll teach him for taking our jobs.